Well, let's look at how to do selection sort. So for selection sort, we have an array and we want to sort the array of integers, but we want to sort it in such a way that we're looking, we're basically finding the lowest integer from a subset and putting it into its correct position. So let me start with an array. First of all, I'll make an integer array. And my integer array is going to contain the integers nine, let's see, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All in reverse order. And I want to sort them so that they are in the correct order from lowest to highest as, a, as opposed to highest to lowest. So in order to do this, I'm going to have a couple of functions. So first I want to display my array. So I'll do a void display array and I'll pass in my array. And I'm also going to pass in a number of items in the array. So count. Then I'm going to also have a void. Um, selection sort and I'm going to pass in the array here and also pass out my or pass in my count. I'll go ahead and copy these down below so we can see how they work. So first of all the displaying array all I want to do is just display it and make sure we can see what's there. So I'll do a little for loop to loop over all the items in the array. So int i equals zero, i is less than count, and then i plus plus. And I'm going to just do a little um, c out and display the array item. And maybe add a little space there so it's not directly touching the next one. After that, I also want to have an end line so that we can see what was there and it doesn't mix up. All right, so the display array just displays all the items in the array. And let's test this out first to make sure it works. So display array and we'll pass an array. And we'll pass in number nine because that's how many items are in the array. And then let me go ahead and run this and just display this. So it runs and you can see here are the elements in the array. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I don't need this hello world anymore. Thank you. Next thing I want to do is run selection sort. Selection sort. And I'm going to pass in my array. And I pass in my count nine. And I want my selection sort to go through and display each step of the way how many or where it's at in the process. So I'm going to start from the array. And I'm going to search through this array and find the lowest number. And then when I found the lowest number, I'm going to insert that one in the front. And then I'll go from the rest of them, the next set, and I'll find the lowest number and insert that one in the front. And just kind of keep going through it each one at a time until I have found everything and put everything in the correct order. So the way I do that is I have a loop. And so I'll do a for loop for. And uh, I'm looking at my starting index. So int i equals zero. And then i is less than count, I guess minus one probably, because I'm just comparing it to the something. All right. And what I want to do is inside of this, so this is for i. So i is the index i am filling okay so then i'm going to be going through each one of these and trying to figure out 
well what is it and I'm gonna have a, a integer um, min index and I'm gonna set that first to I so we know what we're trying to fill and we don't want to be replacing anything that is lower than than I then I go through each one and so index to compare against so do for int j equals and I start from the one after my well after my index i because I don't really want to compare it to myself so I'll do it i plus one and then I want to do it from till j is less than count. I can go all the way to the end of count for this one and j plus plus. All right. And now I'm going to compare them. So if my index, or actually index my array of index um, j, if that one is less than what I have in my min index, min index, which originally starts as I, then I know I need to swap it. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to just tell it for now that my min index equals whatever J is. So that's how I do that. And so basically in this one, I'm going to be finding the one that needs to be swapped, if any. And then at the time I found it, so I've gone through all of them, I'm going to swap it. So then I will have a temporary one in here and temp. And then I will do my little swap. Swap values. And the way I do that is I take one of these and I assign it to temp. So temp equals array, let's say J. Actually not J, I want to do um, array I. And then I'm using min and next as the one to swap it with. So array i becomes equal to the array of min index so that moves it and then i want to put the one back that was in i so array min index now it gets assigned to whatever's in temp so that moves them through and so now we can see the swap has happened at this point we we've got it all swapped out and I can display what my new array looks like and I just pass that and my count so you can see what has happened so this will show me each step of the way what has been happening and how it's it's changing so let's go ahead and run this and we'll see how the selection sort looks so it starts out with nine eight seven six five four three two one and then it goes through and finds the lowest number so that would be the one and it puts it in the first spot and it swaps the nine so now the nine's in the back and then you can see the two gets put in place three four five at this point, six, seven, eight, nine are all in the correct locations because it was exact opposites, but it's still going through each one and finding it. So if I wanted to optimize this and make it faster, I could actually count the number of swaps I make and make sure that, well, that things are in order. I mean, I guess it doesn't really just solve the problem because you still have to worry about if something else later is in the wrong order. But either way, this will get it through and it will sort it out and it's pretty good. It's not a very effective. It's got a big O runtime of N squared, which is not ideal, but it does get things in the correct location. 
Anyway, this is selection sort.